असलम वेलकम टू माई चैनल गुल नॉलेज हब वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड डेट इज स्पीक इंग्लिश फ्लूएंडली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव स्टेप्स बाई विच यू कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश फ्लूएंडली इवन इफ यू आर अलोन एट योर होम बट टेल मी वन थिंग हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन स्टडिंग इंग्लिश and you have gathered a lot of grammatical knowledge and you have attended a lot of online classes yet nothing is produced nothing positive is coming out and you are tired of watching youtube videos on fluency on english fluency how to develop this fluency but there is no output there is no result and you are desperate and you are frustrated if this is your situation in which you are lying then this video is specially for you because in this video i am going to share with you five steps and these five steps are so novel that you will not find in any video yes dear audience and before diving into the video and going into the detail there is a small request if you haven't subscribed gul knowledge hub kindly subscribe this channel and if you have subscribed the channel then there is bundle of thanks from me now but before diving into the video it is compulsory for you to understand what is fluency because fluency is regarded as speaking fast speaking english fast without delay if you are speaking very fast it means that you are fluent no it's a wrong concept fluency means that when you can speak english without stopping without hesitation when words come into your mind without any effort and naturally it means that you are fluent now comes towards the five novel ways by which you can speak english at home when you are alone when there is no partner with you when there is no one to assist you to regard you to help you then you can practice these and there is one small request if you like all these steps please comment me in the comment section that these methods are ma'am very excellent so you have to comment me in the comment section so with this note we start this video the number one step is very important and the step one is go digital yes dear audience you have to go digital because we are living in the world of digital technology textbooks are important hard books are important textbook give you phrases expressions knowledge but dear students and dear audience it's time to go digital you have to search other ways like youtube like many apps and one of the best apps which i am using right now and which has helped me a lot and which is 100% free that is cake app yes dear audience cake app just download it from the play store and you can wonder because there are many features there are many videos there are many segments and dear audience if you are any at any stage of fluency if you are at any stage of learning english this cake app app will assist you there are so many videos there are so many expressions you can learn from that there are so many puzzles and after watching cake app i am i am agreed with this point of view that going digital is the need of the hour today download the cake app then watch the cake app and solve the puzzles solve the questions and just watch the videos enjoy the expression different kind of expression you are learning english language and how superb is this app and i recommend you all to download it this is the first step 
and I hope you will like it. Now we are moving towards another amazing step and this step is absorb things, absorb things like a sponge. Yes, dear audience, taking in, absorbing in yourself things like a sponge, new ideas, new expressions, new words, new vocabulary, you have to be a sponge. Absorb. And there are a lot of ways to absorb English language. Like you can utilize podcast, you can watch English movies, you can read books, you can upload blogs. And dear audience, variety is a spice of life. You can add variety to it. But how? You can read books on Monday, watch podcast on Tuesday, post a blog on Thursday and then it will be quite fun and interesting activity for you to continue. Then choose the material, choose the contact, content in which you are interested and which excites you, which interests you. This is my recommendation to you all. For example, if you are a lover of traveling and sailing around the world and you love to explore the world then I suggest you a YouTube channel Sailing La Vagabond yes it's a adventurous sailing across the world just watch this YouTube channel sail around the world and learn English language and it will be a quite fun experience for you but I recommend you two things. You have to implement it into your life to have better results of spoken English. First is that find the time and declare it. First recommendation, find the time and declare it. Yes, it is the time of your daily practice. Find the time. First of all, you have to find out. Either you are on the bus while having your journey towards your work or while eating your breakfast. If it is your time, declare it as your English time. Read anything. Second recommendation is that you have a notebook by you. Always carry a notebook in which you can discuss the ideas, the expressions, which you like the most and later on check it all. Number three is that writing is the most amazing thing. I don't recommend you that you have to write down whole essays. No, not at all. You have to write down a few words, a few thoughts, a few lines and it takes only a few moments. And why I am recommending it? There are many reasons. The vocabulary which you gather from any source, when you write it down into your own words, vocabulary strays in your mind. Number one. Number two, my students and my observers and my audience always ask a question, ma'am, what is the best and excellent way to memorize and to retain the vocabulary in, in my mind, in our mind. My answer is that, write it down in your own words. What you want to express, express it through that vocabulary. Then it will be. And my next suggestion is that, write your own thoughts, leave it for some days. Then take the, that notebook, revise it again, add it and improve. You can add the synonyms, you can remove some words, you can add some words. It will give you immense benefit. And comment me in the comment section, is this point helpful for you? And you can use the app Grammarly for it. Because it will take out your mistakes and preposition mistakes. This will help you a lot. Number four. Number four is fluency breakthrough challenge. Yes, dear audience. Fluency Breakthrough Challenge 
you have observed in your life and in the lives of every english learner who is still struggling that they are absorbing things they are doing inputs they are reading lot of things they are attending online classes they are having youtube videos continuous input in their minds but there is no output in the form of speaking so you have to keep in your mind this fluency breakthrough challenge for yourself it means that you have to take it as a challenge whatever is in your mind you have to speak it out through your mouth fix a daily time for your sp spoken english and speak whatever comes into your mind this is called fluency breakthrough challenge and the last very important is that work on your foundation and certainly grammar is the foundation of anything if you want to be confident if you want to be fluent in english without errors you have to work on your grammar i don't recommend you that you have to absorb and learn and cram all the grammar rules no never <coughs> you have to work on the basics of grammar if you have command on the basics of grammar then you can speak english without errors so these are five points and i am sure if you are alone at your home and if you want to improve your english and if you work on these five steps you can surely be successful in learning english language fluently comment me in the comment section how would you find this video till the next video stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice